another cold day we're here on the new farm fence is probably i'd say 70 percent 80 percent done but we're over here today just looking things over they're doing a wonderful job but the question for today is how many goats can i put on it that's what i've been looking at we're going to have about nine acres in pasture here now so i'm just trying to decide how many goats we can put on that so one of the first things we need to do is determine what kind of goat we're going to keep on our pastures. What kind of goats are we going to run? Are you going to run full-size goats? Like a uh, boar? An average boar doe will run 175 to 200 pounds. Or are you going to run Nigerian dwarfs? An average doe for them are 40 to 60 pounds. So which one of those are you going to run? That's the first question you have to ask yourself. After we determine which kind of goat it is, whether it's a large meat goat or it's a small little dairy goat or some kind of pet herd that you're wanting to run, then we can determine how many we can put on there. Next, you need to look at your forage that's in your pasture. Is it good grass? This is uh, the end of January, January the 30th, and we still have some decent green in our fescue here all this pastures had done to it is hay cut off of it last year so we still have a good stand of grass in here so is it just going to be good forage or is your forage completely browsed goats love this it's briars it's weeds and this is the stuff that they really thrive on and do well living in so is your pasture going to be this type of pasture for your goats if so then we'll need to know that and that'll help determine how many goats we can have on your property as well. This is a mess, but my goats are going to love it. The third and final forage that we would talk about, are you totally woods? If so, then you may need to decrease the amount of uh, goats per acre because there's just not as much forage or food in totally woods as there is in grass and browse. Now to say there's not food or not enough food, I wouldn't completely say that. It's according to what kind of uh, woods you're in do you have acorns do you have hickories do you have plenty of nuts that'll be falling uh, the tree nuts is there a lot of mast is it freshly cut or select cut timber that's got a lot of uh, regrowth coming back in then you're kind of back in with that to you know the browse and they do well there's with not it. as much food in these open woods as there would be in a full pasture of browse and briars or a full pasture of nice grass and clovers or something like that. Now that we've talked about the three different types of pasture that we have, let's discuss how we determine how many goats we can run per acre. And in this video, you've actually seen my pasture, which contains all three of them. I'm pretty fortunate that I've got a small section of woods, probably 80% of it is in fescue and clover. There's probably 20% of it, which is in browse. And then I got maybe 10% here, maybe an acre or something, three quarters of an acre that I have here that's woods. And that's going to be great for browse, but I also like having the woods here for a little bit of shade and a little bit of cover for them as well. So I'm fortunate I have all three. So let's see how many goats I can run on my nine acres. So we've talked about, we have to determine what kind of goat, large or small. We've talked about the type of our pasture and how well it's going to grow. And another thing we need to consider, a third point is, where do we live? I live in North Carolina. We have a pretty long extended growing season and we get 49 inches of rain a year. And that's about eight inches more than the national average. So as long as things are normal, I can probably figure on getting decent grazing and that my grass will continue to grow. <clears throat> but let's say you live in Wyoming. I know all of y'all watched the channel My Wyoming Life. He gets minimal rain, five to six inches, five to six inches, I think he said, during his growing season. And he only has like a four or five month growing season. 
they only get one cutting of hay, we can get up to four cuttings of hay here. So those things are going to determine how many, we're talking about goats here, but I'm going to show you how you can convert this into any kind of animal, anything from your cow down to your pasture broilers. Once you figure out your annual growing season, the amount of rain and stuff like that, then you need to determine your average animal unit. That's one of those terminology words like you get in school, animal unit. And we're going to deal with one animal unit weighing 1,000 pounds. So we need to know how many 1,000 pound animal units are average in our area. And I did a lot of things to figure that out. Of course, I went to Mr. Google Pants and did a big Google research. And you find everything in North Carolina in my area that you can run one animal unit per acre to one animal unit to four or five acres. The best thing that I did is I went to my ag extension agent, my cattle agent here. So after I went and talked to the ag extension guy here in Wilkes County, we've determined here for us, we can do a thousand pounds of livestock per acre. And that would be able to mostly run us through the entire year. We'll be able to keep a thousand pounds of livestock on that acre which will help us run the entire year. Now, for me, my goats average about 125 pounds, so that lets me run eight goats. If they were 200 pounds, then I would run five goats. And if we were running Nigerian dwarfs at 60 pounds, that would be, what, 14 goats, whatever that would be. You get the picture. We're running animal units, which is 1,000 pounds of livestock on that acre here in Wilkes County and be able to feed that livestock. Now, if your grass is poor, there's a few things you can do. You can increase the grass by adding nitrogens, or you can reduce those number of animal units. So if your grass is not good, if your grass and your farmland is not doing great or you don't think it's the best and you want to improve it with your animals, then drop it down to six per acre instead of eight per acre. Or if you want to increase those animal units per acre, you can always do that. You could run 10 per acre, but just know that you're going to have to supplement now either with some hay or with grains to be able to feed those animals over the course of that year. My goal is to produce these animals on my farm with as little input as possible. Now I'm going to take care of them and make sure they have something to eat. I'll have hay for them in those couple of months of winter when there's snow and things. But I want the least amount of inputs that I can have to grow out a good product and get the best return on my investment as the year comes. When we're talking about adding more livestock units to a farm or to a farm area or to some farm land, if you get too many, you've not hurt the last two or the last three that you've put in there. Now you have dropped the production on all 10 of them where you could have had eight wonderful, healthy goats. Now you have 10 mediocre goats, which you're going to bring less at the sale and you're going to have more inputs in them on the forehand with getting them hay and grains and stuff, trying to keep them up. So I think if we find that average and even reduce it by one or by two, in the long run, our property is going to look better. We're going to be able to save and improve our grass instead of take away from it. And we'll be able to raise our animals with minimal input and make a better profit in the long run. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with us here today. I hope it might end up being a help to you a little bit. I do want to say that that animal unit of measure, the AU or the AUM, animal unit of measurement, is standard across the US, that it works in all areas of livestock. It doesn't have to be a cow, it doesn't have to be a goat. It could be pigs, it could be horses, it could be whatever. You just take that animal unit of measure, which is 1,000 pounds. You do your research online and determine the normal animal units per acre in your area. Or the easiest thing to do, my suggestion would be just call your local ag extension. Cattle is everywhere. In my area, not many people run goats. So knowing that I can use the animal unit of 1,000 pounds, I can call and say, hey, how many cows per acre can I run in West Virginia? or how many cows per acre can I run in 
North Carolina, wherever you might be, and they can usually tell you that. Or then you divide the average weight of your sheep or your goats or your chickens or your pigs or your horses, whatever it might be into that animal unit, and that'll tell me you how many animals you can run per acre. Now doing my research, I have determined that I can run eight goats per acre here on my farm. And then that means that I've got nine acres. So I've determined that my goats average around 100 to 125 pounds per acre. I'm gonna go a little high. So that gives me the ability to run eight goats per acre here on my new farm. So after I get this fence up, I'll be able to run 72 goats in my pasture comfortably. I may run 60 the first year just to make sure. And if I continue to, if, I, if that does wonderful, I could go to that 72. And it's always a numbers game. It's nothing exact. So if you go with 72 and your pastures get too short, drop the number back to seven per acre. If you go to 72 like me for nine acres and you've got abundance of grass, then up it to nine per acre. It's one of those things you'll just have to fluctuate and play with. It's not an exact science, but you have to have somewhere to start. So for me, I'm going to start with eight goats an acre. So next spring, when I get everything finished up and the babies start coming, we'll be able to run 72 head of goats here on my new farm. Hopefully this will help you make a decision on how many goats you can run per acre. If nothing else, it's giving you a little bit of understanding on how people determine how much livestock they can run per acre. Guys, thank you for watching. If you would, please go down, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're only about 125 away from reaching our 1,000 subscribers. And as always, we'll do it all again tomorrow.